So I had full intention of never talking about Layla Anna Lee and uh, Ian Gary ever again. I really did. And I intentionally avoided the story about Hamza Shemaev and her and him and the elevator and all that. And then I intentionally didn't read this whole thing about her, the article that she wrote. Red Pill MMA did a video on it yesterday. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to watch it. I'm just going to watch it. He hasn't gotten enough play on his channel. If it's something good, I will call out his channel. Maybe even, maybe even show you guys a little bit of it. You know, I don't think he got enough credit for the stuff that he dug up throughout this whole thing. But I had a pretty high bar you know, for what I was going to cover. And good God, good God. Now I've read about this Hamza Chimaev story. And I also read the entire article that she wrote about being together with Ian Gary. And oh my God, dude, this is a bad girl. She is so deceiving because she's so pretty and she has a British accent. And so, you know, you th- I, like she said that sometimes Americans have a hard time, you know, uh, picking up on UK sarcasm. So that might be true. But one thing I can say for 100% sure is that Americans hear British accent if it is kind of like a like a traditional, you know, uh, London type of UK accent and think, oh, that person's smart and probably pretty together. Like, it doesn't mean it's true, obviously. But that is kind of, you know, the same way that you hear someone go, man, listen, I was on my ranch and dirt. And you're like, ah, that guy doesn't sound very smart. And then they start talking, oh, that guy's really smart. It's like you default to dumb there. Sorry, you guys. I don't, I'm not saying you're dumb. You're probably much smarter than the people from the UK. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying. Like, that's where your brain goes until you hear them talk. UK, they start talking with that accent. You're like, oh, a smart person. You know, until they prove that they're not. So when I listen to Layla Anna Lee talking, she's all, oh, I think they're doing I'm like, oh, she's a really sharp, you know, she's a smart girl. And then you listen to these stories. You're like, this chick is fucking crazy, dude. This is a fucking crazy person. This is a bad girl. And I don't mean bad girl like, you know, I'm not I'm not like playing the Sean Strickland game. You could do like people do whatever they want. This guy, you guys are they're married with a baby, dude. This relationship is going nowhere. People acting like, oh, we gotta save Ian Gary. Dude, that ship has fucking sailed, man. That's his girl now. But I can for sure laugh my ass off at the most insane things I've it's a story about Hamza Chimaev. I didn't even I did not even look at it. I heard Bisbing talk about it on the channel. And all I heard was he was like, I got used to getting fights all the time. I was totally crazy. And then Rebecca, when I got together with Rebecca, she's like, what are you doing? You, you're you acting stupid. She calmed me down, you know? She got Bisping to a level where a gang member in New Orleans punched him in the face and he allowed that guy to get away with that and just kind of laughed, you know? What do you like... What do you think? What do you think uh, Bisping does if he's been single that whole time? You fucking guy would have been dead, the other guy. Women are supposed to calm you You know, that's what they're supposed to do. That for sure has been Gabrielle's effect on me. Nonetheless, nonetheless, this is a bad girl, dude. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Hamza Chimaev story first because that one is absolutely batshit. And then we're going to talk about the article because the article is so crazy, dude. It's so crazy. Uh, She's 40. This chick is 40 years old. And I mean, and I'm not saying that like... uh, like a girl who still looks that good and is that age, how old she is ends up being a positive, not a negative. You know, you look at her and she's a smoke 10 and she's 40. You're like, wow, dude. Wow. It's easy to be a smoke when you're 25. At 40, all your competition is gone for the most part. But also you would expect them to not recommend to the professional fighter that you're married to that he attack another professional fighter in an elevator with his mother at the time. What the fuck are you doing, dude? So uh, we'll start there, and then we'll talk about her insane article also. Now, really quick, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would appreciate it if you would do that. This is my channel. This is my content. I want to give it to you. I want you to have it. All I ask in return is a free action where you just click subscribe, and then we're off. I realize most people, a lot of people just don't subscribe to channels. Just make an exception for me. It's not going to affect your life at all, but it makes a huge difference for me. I would appreciate it very much. I love you guys. Also, I want to thank the sponsor of this video. Yo, Kratom, the best bulk Kratom in the game, son. I use the other one for all my like, you know, shots and designer stuff. But my day-to-day, yo, Kratom, $60 kilograms. You will be blown away by how inexpensive that is when you start making that your base thing for Kratom. Yo, Kratom.com. Give them a look. I just got a four kilogram shipment two days ago and it's the bomb okay so let's start here uh with the story about um, you know what actually we don't even need any visual aids here okay we're going to come back to this one for the other one 
But for the story about Hamza Chimaev, I memorized it because as soon as I read it, it burned itself into my psyche forever because it was the craziest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So this is a story that Ian Gary told. This is not like, there's no one, there's no one, there, there, <laughs> there's, there's no, uh, you know, this is being getting taken out of context. It's like, dude, Ian told this story. This is coming from your husband. Ian Gary was at UFC 273. We were there. Ian Gary's father was staying at the same hotel as us, which is why Ian Gary was on my radar starting at that fight. Now, I knew who he was, but his dad was there. And I remember we actually spoke to him. I was like, and I guess I was like, how, how incredible is it for your son to be doing this well? He was drinking at the same bar and he was like, he just he like because you know I'm a, I have I have kids and you can just see it's the it's the greatest thing that's ever happened ever he it's so awesome but so Ian Gary was way on my radar for that so we were at this event now I assume this happened at Fighter Hotel we were not at Fighter Hotel so they get into the they get into the elevator Ian Gary and Layla Anna Lee his at the time I guess thirty nine year old girlfriend fiance wife who I believe was already pregnant with their kid. Okay, so she's pregnant. She is 39 years old. Ian is 25. She is supposed to be the good influence, right? Like, she's supposed to be a good influence. They get on the elevator. Who comes up next? Hamza Shemaev. What's Hamza Shemaev doing there? Oh, he's fighting his teammate the next day, Gilbert Burns, which ended up being one of the greatest fights of all time. He gets on the elevator. Who's he with? He's with his mother-in-law. He's with his mother-in-law. Okay, the wife, the mother of his wife. Well, technically, actually, you know what? He said mother-in-law. I know for 100% sure that Hamzat got married after UFC 270, like right after. So it must have been the mother of his fiance. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. So, but for all intents and purposes, his mother-in-law. So an older woman is with Hamzat Shemaev. She told Ian Gary to attack Hamzat. She's like, get him. Get him. Get him. And Ian Gary says, well, and I thought to myself, you know, like he's fighting my teammate. I don't want to mess up his fight. I don't think that's right. Also, there are two ladies here in the elevator. I don't think it's a good idea. You know, it's not a good idea because of those two reasons. And when, when after Hamza left, she called me a pussy. She told me I was a pussy for not doing it. I'm like, when, okay, so when I read that, I was like, oh my God, that is so bad shit that I don't even, I can't, I don't know where to start because if she's joking, like, 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 let's just say that she was joking, right? Like she, like, let's say they were on the air, on the, on the elevator and she's going like this. She's like, Hey, and then Hamzat gets off with the thing and she's like, you're a pussy. And it's a joke. That's one thing. Still insane because Hamzat is crazy. Okay, like even if you were joking, that's a bad move. But Ian said she was serious. So I'm only going to speak about it as if she was serious. Okay, number one, you are suggesting that your 25-year-old dude attacks another fighter? You're almost 40. What are you doing? Why would that be a good idea? There's no cameras around. There is no benefit. Not to mention Hamza would fuck his shit up in an elevator. In an elevator? You want your, like, clearly you don't know shit about fighting because if he attacks Hamzat in a space where you can't move more than two feet in any direction, Hamzat is going to wrestle fuck your husband and stick his cock in his unconscious mouth, okay? And then he's going to do whatever he wants with you because you earn this. Like, what the, (laughs) and that's the least crazy part about it. A, there's no benefit. B, Hamzat's there with his mother-in-law. What are you doing? You really think that's a good idea for him to attack another person for no reason who is on an elevator with his mother-in-law? That's insane. That is the worst advice that anyone's ever given anyone. And what makes it so crazy is the fact that she's 39 years old or 40 years old and he's a little baby 25-year-old. If it was a 25-year-old girl suggesting that to her 25-year-old boyfriend, I'd be like, you need to get rid of that girl, dude. I'm like, in all, I'm being totally serious now. Here's the deal. They are married. They have a kid. Ship is sailed, dude. They're together talking about, oh, we're going to rescue Ian Gary. Dumb conversation. Not going to happen. They're married. They have a kid together. She's in his life forever. Period. You can say whatever you want. Maybe this is a joke. Maybe it's not. Like I said, I'm only covering this as if it was true, like real. And she meant it because it's how Ian Gary told the story. So 
all of this hinges on her not having been joking and this being serious, okay? If I heard that story from a 25-year-old fighter about his girlfriend or fiance who was 25 that he was not already married to and did not have a kid with, no joke, even if I didn't know him, I'd be DMing him. I'd be like, look, dude, I'm older than you. I've seen this fucking movie before. You need to get rid of that girl, dude. This is a bad fucking girl. That is a, that is a bad sign, dude. Now, again, I am open to the fact that she's joking. But if she wasn't, this is a horrendous sign, dude. <laughs> like, horrendous sign. Only a lunatic who has never been involved in real violence, A, would want two, those two guys to fight in an elevator that they are fucking inside of. That should be your number one deterrent is just self-preservation, dude. You want, do you have any idea what it would be like to be trapped in a tiny enclosed space with those two fucking animals trying to fight each other to the death and you're trapped in there? You're going to end up under, it would be, you would be safer if you went to Barcelona and fucking did running of the bulls with your legs tied together. You're fucked in that situation, Layla Anna Lee. And it would be the most shocking moment of your life to feel what real violence feels like coming from people like that, who are the most violently capable, strong, fast animals on earth. You would have gotten smashed. Not to mention there's no class in that whatsoever. Dude, he, Hamzat, he's a wolf. He's a crazy. He's also like a very traditional Muslim man and he's there with his wife's mom. Do you have any idea the level of disrespect that is? It's disrespectful no matter what. It's always disrespectful to not just look at a guy. Even if you guys are arch enemies, dude. If Khabib and Connor got into an elevator with each other and they were with each other's mother-in-laws, I absolutely guarantee you that neither of them does anything. I would bet my fucking life on that too. Habib and his mother, Connor and his mother, they would look at each other and they would... They would look at each other with respect and be like, another time. This ain't it. That I promise you that. And they are arch enemies, dude. No one within with any sense would do what you suggested that he does. Okay, so that's that. We're just going to leave that one there. Now we're going to talk about this other thing. Because this is so directly correlated, correlated, what? correlated with the other one that I don't even know what to say. So this is this article that she wrote, okay? So the way that this was characterized by this stupid, okay, not, not, not red pill, but the person who wrote this. So apparently Ian Gary likes to check out men in bars. Fans go into meltdown as Ian Gary's wife exposes deepest insecurity. Okay. This is a complete mischaracterization of what she's talking about. And only a beta pussy would re, would not understand why what they are saying about this is completely wrong. What she said is accurate. What she's saying is 100% accurate. And anyone that's really wired for combat like Ian Gary or you guys, most of you, or fucking me knows exactly what she's talking about, okay? It certainly is not checking out guys, all right? Let me just, I want to give, uh, but still, the way the, let me just make this clear. The way she is talking about it is insane. She loves it. She is stoked about what, Sorry, let's just get into what he actually said and then we'll, hold on. Thumbnail with that sort of copywriting going on. So apparently Ian Gary likes to check out men in bars. Fans go into a meltdown as Ian Gary's wife exposes his deepest insecurities. Again, this is another case of his wife talking on a blog or something like that. Let me go down and have a look at it. Look, Ian Gary's wife's blog. Why are you writing blogs about this shit? Why are you saying random shit? Why are you talking about fighting people in elevators and calling him a pussy because he didn't do it? This is all mental illness. It's crazy. It's, he's correct. No. I don't know where he's going to go with this and I don't want to step on my own video. So I just, regardless of where he goes, let me explain what happened. She wrote a blog about what it's like to be together with a professional fighter. Like, oh my God, I've never been together with, let me tell you guys what's, it's so crazy. What she said about the bars is she said that it's bizarre for the first time. I've, I've never been with a man who, when we go out in public is checking out as sizing up every other man in the building to decide whether or not that person is a physical threat or not, whether you would win in a fight or not. Okay. So what she's saying is that like, he goes in, he like scans the room. He sees if there are any other kind of like, you know, kind of diesel dudes. 
Anybody who looks like they're kind of physically capable and kind of looks and goes, all right. Not even necessarily like, I know I could beat that guy up. Just no, actually, I don't know what he's thinking, but like, okay, that guy looks is like, I could probably take that guy. That guy, yeah, I could probably take that guy. That guy could probably take that guy. This is not an insecurity thing, okay? I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'm talking about when you're 26 years old, 25 years old. If you guys are like, uh, tell, tell me you did not do that, okay? Tell me you did not fucking do that. I don't know about anybody else. When I was 25 years old, 100% I did that. I did that everywhere I went. If there was some other big ass dude, I'd look, I'd be like, all right. Now, how I would handle it is I would usually go make friends with them, right? I, well, I don't know, usually, but bottom line, like this is just a natural thing. And it's not because you're like, oh, I got to make sure I'm the toughest guy here. It's like, you're, you're assessing threats, you know? You're assessing threats all the time. It's like, all right, that guy, that guy, that guy, at least... Anyway, he's definitely not gay. That's not what he's saying. She's not, I, I mean, I don't know if she understands it, but the point is like, yes, that is something that people do, period. All right. I don't do that shit anymore. Mostly, you know, mostly though, because I have grown to know there are a lot of people who kick the living fuck out of me because I get my ass kicked by world champions and other people all the time. But nonetheless, you still kind of look around and see who's built for, you know, who's who looks like a tough fucker. You just know, it's just, you know, it's not just a professional fighter thing. But also, it is completely natural for a 26-year-old fucking professional fighter to do that. What's not normal is for his girl to think that's super fucking cool, okay? A 40-year-old, dude. It's not cool for a 40-year-old girl to think it's super fucking cool that her 26-year-old pro fighter looks and decides whether or not he'd win in a fight against every single dude that's in the fucking bar with him. That shit is so weird, dude. What is wrong with this fucking girl? It's just fucking weird. You think that, like, she that was the first thing she's all, here are five things about what it's like to be with a pro fighter. Number one, he makes sure he can beat the shit out of every single guy that we go and think. It's like, so obviously, this is the thing you think is the coolest. In addition to the fact you wanted him to fight Hamza Shumayev in an elevator, dude, it's not enough. Like, hey, spoiler alert, Ian Gary can win every fucking fight, dude. You don't need to, like, I mean, like, spoiler, Layla Anna Lee, he will win literally every fight, okay? You don't need him to go actually do it. You don't need to tell the whole world about how he's sizing everybody. He's a tough fucking guy. He's one of the toughest guys on the face of the earth. There's probably a number of... I mean, shit, I don't even know, man. Maybe two dozen guys on earth that could beat him in a fucking fight and all of them weigh 100 pounds more than him. Like, that's it. You don't need to, like, this doesn't need to be a fucking core tenant of your life view. You're 40. Grow the fuck up, dude. Jesus, it's so bizarre. Anyway, uh, I think I'm just gonna stop there. So, that's what I got. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. 